Hello guys! It's me again, Jude Master. Before we proceed to my video, I would like to greet you a wonderful day to all my loving viewers, my friends, and especially to my family. God bless. Okay, let's begin. Oops! Just wait. I forget to play my intro. What's this? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate rewinding multiple transformer. By the way, we have the formula to be used. Number one, we need to get the formula of power. And based with our Ohm's law equation, power is equal to ampere by multiplying the voltage. Number two, size of core. We need to get the center legs and the thickness. Number three, turn per volt. And we need to get also the primary and secondary turns. And we use the formula turns is equal to turn per volt. And our number four, size of wire. And we need to get the size of primary and secondary. And the formula to be used, current is equal to power divided by the voltage. And we proceed to our example number one. And for example, we make a transformer. 5 ampere. The primary is 220 volts. And the secondary is 3 volt, 5 volt, 9 volts, and 12 volts. Okay. The first step we can do is to get the power or wattage of a transformer. And the formula of power is equal to ampere times the maximum secondary voltage. Okay, let us try to compute our ampere is 5 ampere I multiply natin sa maximum secondary voltage what is our secondary voltage 12 volts okay multiply natin is equal to 60 ampere Our power or wattage of our transformer is 60 watts. Number two, we get the size of core. By getting the size of center legs and thickness, we have the standard table to be used. And take note, we must know the wattage or power of our transformer before we proceed to our standard table chart. Okay. 
Okay, let us see to our table charts. As you can see, at the wattage column, we choose 30 to 75 watts. And take note again, why we choose 30 to 75 watts? Because our transformer is only 60 watts. And here, and here the exactly or possible wattage, not lower or higher wattage. Okay? And our size of our center legs is 1 and 1 8. And the thickness is 1 and 1 half or 1 and 3 fourth. And to make sure, we choose maximum maximum size of core and we choose one and three port our size of center legs is one and one eight and our thickness is one and three port and let's proceed to our step number three we need to get the turn per volts of primary and secondary. How we got these 4.4 turns? Let us see again to our table charts. As you can see, at the wattage column, choose 30 to 75 watts. The turn per volts of our primary and secondary is 4.4 turns. Okay? Okay. Let us try to compute our primary 220 volts times 4.4 turns per volt is equal to 968 our primary turns is 968 turns. Okay? And let's start to compute our secondary turns. Let us start to 3 volts. Okay? 3 3 volts multiplied by 4.4 turns is equal to our secondary turns 3 volts is 13.2 or 13 turns only okay okay let us compute the 5 volts. 5 volts is equal times 4.4 is equal to 22 turns. The secondary turns of 5 volts is 22 turns. Okay? And we go to 9 volts. Let's try to compute 9 volts. 9 volts 
times four point four turns is equal to thirty nine point six turns or forty round up forty turns. Our secondary turns nine volts is forty turns. And the uh, and twelve volts times four point four turns is equal to fifty two point eight and round up fifty three turns. Okay. And our our secondary turns of three volt three volts is thirteen turns, and the secondary turns of five volts is thirty two turns. Our secondary turns of nine volts is forty turns. And our secondary turns of 12 volts is 53 turns. Okay. And for the last, we get the size of wire of primary and secondary. Using the formula of current. What is our formula of current? Based with our Ohm's law equation, the formula of current is equal to power divided by the voltage. Let us try to get the size of wire of primary. Okay? We using the formula of current. Let us try to calculate. Our power is 60 watts times I sorry sorry 60 watts divided by nakopo 60 watts divided by 220 volts is equal to 0 0.27 our current of primary is 0 0.27 how do we get this AWG number 26 Let us see to our standard table again. Okay. Okay. As you can see to our standard table, our primary current is 0 0.27 ampere. Let us see to our table chart. At the maximum ampere hour here as you can see maximum ampere power column we choose the exactly or possible ampere of our primary we choose 327 okay and our size of wire of our primary is number 26 okay here as you can see, AWG number 26. Okay. Our size of Y 
size of wire of our primary is number 26 and let us proceed to our secondary let's try to calculate the secondary ampere okay multiple our power is 60 watts 60 watts divide the maximum voltage 12 volts okay is equal to 5 volts our secondary ampere is 5 volts okay we get the number of wire let us see to our table charts again okay as you can see to our table charts at the maximum current power column this is the maximum ampere power column our our transformer is 5 ampere okay we choose we choose 5.9 because this is the exactly or possible ampere of our secondary not lower and not higher than 5 ampere okay our AWG is number 14 okay here number 14 AWG our AWG is number 14 and our secondary size of wire is number 14 AWG okay okay that's all i hope you have learned something to my video and don't forget to subscribe like share and press to the bell icon for more videos thanks for watching